Instagram influencers do everything possible to look perfect for their followers, but sometimes they take it too far and start to look nothing like themselves. I'm Mackenzie and let's get into the top 10 influencers who look nothing like their photos in real life. In at number 10, Celine Santino. Celine Santino is an influencer based in Zurich with over 600,000 followers on Instagram. And from her Instagram, it's clear that she's known for her voluptuous figure, specifically for her ultra small waist paired with her huge butt. And many of her photos are showing off this unreal figure. But it's pretty clear from one look at her Instagram that her face and body are heavily edited. Her face even looks somewhat fake, like she's an IMVU or something. Slub Face not only did a side by side of Celine's body with and without Photoshop, they also included some before and after photos as well, making it clear that she's had a lot of work done on her face and body to make her look like an Instagram baddie. I really still can't get over the editing of her waist though, it's like next level small. In at number 9, Maddie Crum. Maddie Crum, also known by her username I Blow Your Mind, is known for having an insane model esque body with a very thin physique and incredibly long legs and torso. But based on a side by side, it's clear that she's either photoshopping herself slimmer or she's incredibly good with angles. It also looks like she might have stretched her photos lengthwise, which would make her look taller as well as thinner. A lot of people commenting on the Photoshop are concerned for Maddie, as it seems that she's edited her body to the extreme. However, I do want to note that when I was looking through her more recent pictures, it does look like her photos are a lot more natural. She's not posting so many photos like her older ones, so it's great to see that she's progressing and hopefully getting a little more natural. And at number 8, Khloe Kardashian. Even though we know all the Kardashians edit their photos, Khloe is definitely the worst, and it seems like she makes herself look different in every one of her photos, leading many to wonder what she actually looks like. The whole fiasco with Khloe's editing came to a boiling point when her grandmother MJ posted a cute photo of her at the beach, unedited, and she was so outraged about it that she filed legal takedown claims to get it off the internet. This video shows what is believed to be an unedited video of Khloe, and it's shocking to see just how unrecognizable she is here. And it seems that Khloe photoshops herself differently each time, so we're never really quite sure which Khloe we're gonna get. And at number 7, Dirty Hippie. Hannah Tittensore, known by her username Dirty Hippie, does not only edit her body to be slimmer, she also heavily tans, some say in order to look biracial. If you were to look at her most recent photos, you would assume that she was black, but when you see what she looked like before, she is completely white. And her excessive tanning as well as makeup techniques make her look like an entirely different person. She was even on one of Barcroft's episodes about people addicted to tanning. Some accounts have also exposed her photoshop. It's clear from the side by sides that she edits her face and body a lot. Just comparing how she looked on her TV appearance versus on her Instagram really says it all. And at number 6, Chloe Kahn. Chloe Kahn first became known from the X Factor UK for her insane look. She had actually been on TV before, and in 2009 she appeared on the BBC3 show Snog Mary Avoid. Then in 2010 she auditioned for the X Factor and went totally viral. She did make it through the boot camp but was kicked off the show for too much partying. Now she is known for her risque Instagram and for looking literally nothing like she did on X Factor. Through a mix of facial and body modifications, along with photo editing, she is unrecognizable from who she was before. Halfway at number 5, Lauren Gray. Lauren Gray is one of the most beautiful women in the world. She first gained fame on Musical.ly, then was still huge on TikTok when it was first created. She currently has 22 million followers on Instagram and is known for her breathtaking beauty. Since she first gained fame on Instagram, she's been accused of heavily editing her face to make it look flawless. She was also young when she first started, and many believe she edited herself to look older. From this side by side, taken what looks like on the same day, it's clear lighting and editing make a huge difference in her appearance online. But clearly, she is still absolutely gorgeous. In at number 4, Nita Kuzmina. Nita Kuzmina is a model and former reality TV star with 1.8 million followers on Instagram. She's one of the most famous Instagram models from Russia on the platform. She's changed a lot since she appeared on the TV show Vacation in Mexico. From the photos on her Instagram page, she's very glamorous and beautiful. Her skin looks so smooth at times that she doesn't even look real. But it turns out that her real name is Gupta. If you search that name, you can see how different she looked before and how much editing and plastic surgery that she's gotten. It's believed she got filler in her lips, changed the shape of her nose, breast implants, and she corrected her cheekbone line as well. And with just how perfect her photos are, it's not hard to think she heavily edits them. And at number 3, Andrea G. Next up we have Andrea, who is known as Miss Andrea G. Andrea, the queen of swimwear as she calls herself, has over 300,000 followers on Instagram. And I understand why she's a swimwear queen, because she's constantly on a beach somewhere showing off her body in a swimsuit. And her body looks absolutely flawless in her photos, which is even more impressive considering she is a new mom. But from some before and after photos, it's clear that she heavily edits her pictures. From this before and after, she makes herself look significantly smaller on her Instagram. She's also been accused of photoshopping abs onto herself, and critics claim that her abs look slightly different in each picture. And at number 2, Christine Quinn. Christine Quinn is known as the most savage and luxurious realtor 
presenter on the hit Netflix show Selling Sunset. She is constantly posting her looks to her almost 2 million followers. Personally, she is my favorite on Selling Sunset because she brings the most drama. But she was accused of photoshopping her photos when some photos were compared to a video that was taken on the exact same day. And you can tell her face and body have been considerably altered. The most obvious modification from the side by side is making her waist much smaller than in the video. And finally, number one, Kristen Hancher. Kristen is a very famous Instagram model and TikToker who posts insane makeup looks on her Instagram. And her unique look has made her fans obsessed with her, with lots of them calling her a Bratz doll lookalike. But it seems like a lot of this could be a lie, as she has been called out for editing her face and body numerous times over the years. The most insane to me was when an Instagram account showed a before and after of her editing a Snapchat filter, which we know already distorts faces. So the fact that she distorted a filter even more than it naturally does is just shocking. Even though Kristen is naturally beautiful, it honestly seems like she doesn't even want to look natural, and instead she wants to look supernatural. Some say she even resembles a Sims character at times. I'll let you guys be the judge of that one, but I can definitely see where that theory comes from. So that's all for the list today guys, please let me know your thoughts on everything I said below. But before I go, I'm going to shout out some comments from my video on Jamie Spears stealing from Britney. KO said, this was already apparent seeing how she is only worth 60 million dollars. She should be worth so much more after all these years working. He's been siphoning her money since the conservatorship started, that's why he hasn't given up control. Hope he gets everything he deserves. That is so true, why is no one talking about that? Why is she only worth 60 million dollars? How, how does that work? She's like one of the most iconic pop stars ever, did like multiple Las Vegas residencies and she's worth 60 million dollars? That seems like chump change. Then Susan said, what's more surprising is that it took them this long to figure that out. So true, I can't believe it took so long for someone to say something or do something as crazy. I watched the uh, most recent Netflix documentary on Britney yesterday and that one gave a really in-depth look of like so much was happening and everyone saw it but like no one had the guts to like say anything. Really, really sad. Then Kima said, he takes a salary larger than his daughter. Wow, what a low life. Literally, how can you like, how could a person even do that? You take so much money from this person that you're controlling. You're like forcing them to work, threatening not seeing their kid. Like it's just so, so messed up. This man needs jail. He honestly needs more than jail. You didn't hear that from me, but he needs jail. Badly. All right, guys, all for the video today. Thanks so much for sticking around. If you made it all the way here, if you liked the video and want to see more, make sure to like and sub to the channel below. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith. Make sure to check us out on social media, and I'll catch you all in the next one.